Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Evaluate integral c raised to 2 z by z minus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 dz where c is mod z equal to 3 using Cauchy's residue theorem. Here the contour is given by mod z equal to 3 which represents the circle with the center 0 0 and radius 3. Mod z equal to 3 can be graphically represented as shown in figure. In this question, poles are given by z minus 1 the whole square into z minus 2 equal to 0. To solve this question, we have to check whether the poles z equal to 1 and z equal to 2 lies inside or outside the circle mod z equal to 3. Let us take z minus 1 equal to 0. Then z is equal to 1. We know that z is equal to x plus i y which is equal to 1 plus 0 i. Comparing real part on both sides, we get x is equal to 1. Comparing imaginary part on both sides, we get y is equal to 0. That gives the coordinate 1, 0. One zero lies inside circle mod z equal to 3. Therefore, the pole z equal to 1 lies inside the contour. Let us equate z minus 2 equal to 0 then z is equal to 2 we know that z equal to x plus i y which is equal to 2 plus 0 i comparing real and imaginary part on both sides we get x equal to 2 y is equal to 0 this gives the coordinate 2 0 2 0 lies inside the circle Therefore, pole is z equal to 2 lies inside the circle mod z equal to 3. We have a simple alternate method to check whether the points z equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 lies inside or outside without drawing the circle. Put z is equal to 1 in mod z is equal to 3 then mod 1 equal to 1 which is less than 3 therefore the pole z equal to 1 lies inside the circle put z is equal to 2 in mod z equal to 3 then mod z equal to 2 which is less than 3 z equal to 1 and z equal to 3 lies inside the circle mod z equal to 3 In Cauchy's integral formula, we have to apply partial fraction if both poles z equal to 1 and z equal to 2 lies inside the contour. But when applying Cauchy's residue theorem, partial fraction is not needed. To solve this problem, we want to find the residues of poles z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. To find the residue of pole z equal to 2, use the formula residue 
Z equal to F of Z equal to limit Z tends to A, Z minus A, F of Z. To find the residue of Z is equal to 2, put A is equal to 2 in formula. Then limit Z tends to 2, Z minus 2 f of z is a raised to 2 z by z minus 2 into z minus 1 the whole square. Cancelling z minus 2 terms and substitute z equal to 2 in the remaining z terms. Then a raised to 2 z becomes a raised to 4 and z minus 1 the whole square becomes 2 minus 1 the whole square which is equal to 1 equal to which is equal to a raised to 4 residue of pole z is equal to 2 is r1 equal to a raised to 4 We have one more pole is it equal to one inside the mode circle mode is it equal to three, which is a pole of order if the pole of order is greater than one, use Cauchy's residue formula. Residue is at f of z is equal to 1 by m minus 1 factorial limit to z tends to a d raised to m minus 1 d z raised to m minus 1 is at minus a whole raised to m f of z. Integral a raised to z, a raised to 2 z by z minus 1 the whole square is z minus 2 dz. In this question, z minus 1 is a pole of order 2, that is m is equal to 2. Apply m is equal to 2 and a is equal to 1. and formula one by two minus one factorial limit is z tends to one d raised to two minus one by d z raised to two minus one z minus 1 the whole is 2 f of z is e raised to 2 z by z minus 1 the whole square z minus 2. Cancelling z minus 1 the whole square terms and differentiating remaining terms by quotient rule. Limit z tends to 1 into denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator by denominator the whole square. Substitute z equal to 1 in remaining z terms. Then z minus 2 becomes 1 minus 2. e raised to 2z becomes 
erased to minus erased to becomes erased to by z minus 2 the whole square become 1 minus 2 the whole square equal to g is equal to minus 3 e square. Cauchy's residues theorem states that integral f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues. To find the value of integral erased to 2 z by z minus 2 into z minus 1 the whole square dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues r1 r2 which is equal to 2 pi i into e raised to 4 minus 3 e square.